Hi there, everyone. This is Darkside 2K7, aka Sada Sky Station. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Hump day, whatnot. So, as you may know, Dave Chappelle is still at it again. He's refusing to bend the knee, to bend the knee to these, to the small minor, to the small activist assholes who tried to, who tried to get this, get his show to close the special ca canceled. But you know, as usual, it, but as usual, they they. People aren't going to try to do it. But Dave Spell stands his ground, man, on this one. And actually, he he said that he won't be bending to anyone's demands. I'm going to read this for de for de deadline because now bear with me. They're going to say some things that it's going to be like, you know, bullshit or whatnot. But I digress. Let me read. Dave Spell said he won't bend. He won't be bending to anyone's demands. Over closer controversy, praises Ted Sarandos and mocks Hannah Gatsby. Yeah, I don't know who the hell the Hannah Gatsby is, but uh, we'll get into that. What well, we'll get into that <clears throat> after nearly three weeks of controversy, Netflix firing and suspending of trans staff and protests on the streets of Hollywood over remarks centered on the trans and the LGBTQ plus communities. Right, they suppose it is special to closer, which is not really, which is just fucking jokes in my honest opinion. But you know, nowadays everyone has to be a fucking victim nowadays, but I digress. The comedian is finally responding significantly, and it's a mixed bag, to put it mildly. Yeah, you can tell that the writer for this guy is a, is a fucking, is a fucking left-winged asshole, to be precise. To the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but it will not, but you will not summon me, the Mark Twain Prize winner said in the just over five minute posting Monday on Instagram, I am not betting to anyone's demand, he added to cheers from a seemingly packed arena Chappelle was filmed in. And if you want to meet with me, I am more than willing to, but I have some conditions. The currently touring Chappelle said on stage, saying that he has not actually been invited to speak with transgender employees on Netflix. Well, that part's, well, that's part given because it's funny because... The trans, because the activists said that they tried to contact Dave Chappelle, but they, but they said that he refused to speak with them, which is a bold-faced lie. Because turns out, Chappelle, turns out that he was that he has not been actually invited to the people. His people even reach out to them, but they don't want to see it. So basically, they're they're, they're full of shit. Why well, not digress? He said over laughter. First off. You cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. That's the important thing. In order for you to know where Dave Chappelle is coming from, you have to watch it from watch his uh, special the closer from from beginning to end. And to to the outrage to the dumbass outrage though, it's proof that the only people who were outraged over this shit they didn't even watch it at all. You must come to a place of my choosing. At a time of my, uh, my choosing, that's always important. It has to be on his terms, not their terms. I respect that. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. And here, and that was a swipe. And here's the reason why. The last remark is a swipe at the Nanette star Hannah Gatsby, who on October 15th said Dave Chappelle's perceived transphobic obsession and the reaction Netflix and co-CEO Ted Sarandos initially had to the hurt and backlash expressed by the company's trans staffers and others. You didn't pay me nearly enough to deal with the real-world consequences of a hate speech dog whistle you refuse to acknowledge. Okay, first of all, it's just jokes. It's not hate speech, Ted. Gatsby wrote on social media last week, fuck you and your immoral algorithm code. Well, fuck you too, bitch. I mean, seriously, it's not even hate speech. It's just jokes. But I guess, but I guess say something that you don't like. But I guess nowadays, if you say something you don't like or have a different fucking opinion, that's fucking hate speech. But I digress. In the video posted today, Chappelle also laments how the reaction to the closer has affected his untitled documentary, which film fest with film festival studios, they got for Ted Sarandos and Netflix. He's the only one that didn't cancel me yet. Chappelle said, leaning into the bottom line, Sarandos intensely defended Chappelle, 
and the special and the special against the claims transphobia say that it did not cross the line on hate speech, even even as trans staffers, past and present, and organizers says it's glad, and the National Black Justice Corps is a condemned comedian special. Oh yeah, uh huh. As sexers went hard after leakers. Including firing one who's allegedly shared financial data related to Chappelle with the media. So Adams changed his tone last week, though not his bottom line. I screwed up the internal community, and I didn't just mean me mechanically. The executive said in a series of collaborative media appearances as the October 20th walkout by Netflix trans staffers and officers, I feel like I should have made sure to recognize the, that a group of our employees was hurting very badly for the decision made, and I should recognize up front before going into a rationalization of anything, the pain that they w were going through. I said that because I respect them deeply, and I love the contributors that they have on Netflix. They are hurting, and I should recognize that first. Bullshit. Yeah, right. Am I cancel or not? Then let's go. Chappelle yells at the end of the video, dropping the mic as a graphic as a graphic comes up listing his upcoming tour dates in in what it is least partially an excuse to free advertisement. And I like and and trust me. And trust me, here's the thing. Here's the fucking thing. No one is canceling Dave. No one. No, I'm not canceling Dave Chappelle. I really fucking not. I, I really fucking not. All right. I feel like this is bull. This is so fucking bullshit. How he's getting this level of fucking hate. Uh, this level of fucking hate over over a special. And because of this whole bullshit controversy, not one film studio, what well, one film festival or a studio will let him, will will let him play his untitled uh documentary. I mean, hell, if he releases it, if he releases it in a movie theater somewhere around here, I would definitely want to go and see that because I feel because I want to still support the man. And also, they should know by now. They should fucking know by now. This is Dave fucking Chappelle. He's the cop. He is a legendary comedian, and he'll say, and this is this is always does. He goes after everyone. No one is safe. No one is exempt. Nothing is. No one is sacred. The problem. The problem is, is that now we live in a situ. We live in a fucking world where, for some goddamn reason, you say something. Saying jokes or saying something that people don't like hurts feelings and they get triggered over this shit. Honestly, I feel like he did. Honestly, like I said, Dave Chappelle did nothing wrong. All he did was do his job. He tells jokes and everything. And also, here's the thing. There are a couple of trans, trans comedians who are coming out and actually defending Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. And everybody is coming out and defending him. I'm, I'm defending him. I'm not canceling that man. For what? Like, seriously. For fucking what? So you want me to cancel Dave Chappelle because he says some jokes that hurt your feelings? Fuck you. Fuck you. But like I said, that's just my two cents of the whole thing is. I would like to know what you think of it, too. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, serve your friends, serve your neighbors, serve your significant others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is darkside 2 k 7 aka Solid Sky Six signing off. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one. God bless you all, and fuck Hannah Gatsby. Bitch not even funny anyway. Don't even know the fucking bitch.